Nova here. I'm so excited to see you again this week. Kayla and I enjoyed looking at all of your pictures after last week's session. I even saw a lot of the girls used Unicorn in their mnemonic device to remember the planet Uranus. This week, we're going to learn about some of my favorite things in the night sky, the stars. I love looking up at the stars at night. Don't you too? Are you ready to get started? Here we go. Hi, Brownies. Thanks for joining Nova and I again for our third session of our Space Explorers series. My name is Kayla Roloffs and I am the Youth Outreach Manager at Girl Scouts of Minnesota and Wisconsin Lakes and Pines. A huge thank you to everyone who joined us again this past week. It was so much fun seeing all of your pictures like Aurora's from Troop 784 in Sacramento, Troop 2140 in Wisconsin, and a really fun sentence and dance from Brownie Troop 55269 in Illinois. We really can't wait to see your creativity again this week. Before we get started with today's activity, let's do the Girl Scout promise and law. Is everyone doing the Girl Scout sign? Let's go. Again. On my honor, I will try to serve God in my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. If you can remember back to our first session, we learned about the moon. Then last week we learned about our solar system and the order of our planets through mnemonic devices, which I learned I got a little bit mixed up and that taught me how important it is to double check my work. So I'm sorry about that. This week we get to learn about the stars beyond our solar system. So the materials you'll need for this activity are the STARS handout. If you can print it, that's great. If you can't, not a problem. Then you'll need the URSA major handout and the TARUS handout, which if you can print it, that's really helpful because we need them for this activity. If not, try to just transfer the constellations to a piece of paper. You're also going to need paper and then pencils, markers, crayons, whatever your favorite drawing supplies are. Have you ever looked at the stars in the sky and noticed patterns or shapes? Do you know what those patterns or shapes are called? They're called constellations. Do you know the names of any constellations? There are so many stars in the night sky that it's hard to focus on just a few of them. Did you know you can use your hands to make a frame and that will help you see just a portion of the night sky? As you move your hands away from your face, that will help you narrow in on the sky even closer. You could even use a telescope to help you see the stars. Telescopes can really help us focus in on the sky. When we look at the night sky, what may look like just a group of stars can actually start to take shape. Let's take a closer look. Many stars together form recognizable patterns in the sky called constellations. As the Earth makes its orbit around the Sun and the seasons change, we see different constellations in the night sky. Isn't that interesting, girls? Today, we'll be talking about Ursa Major and Taurus. So let's go grab our supplies. Let's take a look at Ursa Major. Do you see how the stars form the shape of a big bear? It's not exact, is it? We have to use our imaginations to kind of fill in the shape around the stars to see the bear picture. Now, let's take a look at Taurus the bull. Do you see kind of how those stars make up the shape of a bull? And again, we kind of have to use our imaginations to make it look like a bull. 
What I want you to do today is use your art supplies to reimagine your very own constellations. Use the stars from Ursa Major and the stars from Taurus as your base, and then draw a new figure you see around them. It can be anything you want, kind of like a connect the dots that you get to make up on your own. All right, brownies, so here is an example for you. I decided to turn Taurus the bull into Brownie the dog just because when I see the stars, to me it looks more like a dog than it does a bull. I used Taurus's horns and instead turned it into one of the ears of the dog and the dog's nose. And then where Taurus's body would be, I kind of used it for the rest of my dog. While you work on turning Ursa Major or Taurus into your own creative constellation, I'm going to tell you some more fun stories about the stars. Stars represent the basic building blocks of our galaxies. Their age, location, and what they're made of tells us the history of that galaxy. Stars in the night sky are much farther away than even the most distant part of our solar system. They are trillions of miles away. The sun is the nearest star to Earth and makes its own light and heat. As the center of our solar system, the planets, moons, asteroids, and comets all move around the sun. Do you remember what that's called? That's right, it's an orbit. For centuries, people have gazed up into the sky to look at the stars. As they started to see shapes, they would make stories to help them remember what they were. One story that I really like is about Draco the dragon. Draco was the guard dragon for a mighty queen. He was in charge of guarding her golden apple tree. The apple tree was very special and many villagers wanted it. So they came up with a plan to put Draco to sleep by playing Lyra, the constellation harp. While he was asleep, the villagers snuck in and took all the golden apples off the tree. The queen punished Draco by sending him up to the stars where he still sits today. I can't wait to hear your creative constellation stories. Over the next week, take an adult and go outside at night and make up your own constellation using the stars you can see in the sky. You can reimagine one that's already there, or you could make your own from a new group of stars. Then come up with a story that goes along with your constellation. I sure hope you'll share your pictures and stories with Kayla and me. We always love hearing about all the creative things you come up with. Now that we're almost done with today, share your new constellation with someone else. We really love seeing your work as well, so feel free to show off on our Facebook event page. Nova and I hope you had a fun this week and can't wait to see you again next week when we explore space up close through our computers. Bye girls, we'll see you again next week.